Hello everyone, welcome back to ETS 2. Now guys, uh, we're going to be using this uh, volleyball today in ETS 2. Now, there is a mod out there that I found on ETS 2 on the website, on one of the mod sites, that you have all the, S uh, the ATS trucks in ETS 2. Time to hit the road. Don't you get no crumbs on my So that's seat. what we got here today. We got the VNN. Which is way too loud. Uh, from ATS over in ETS 2. Let's turn it down. It's way too loud with this headset on. So we got. Let me fix the map. 216 miles. Let's go on road. Feel a little loud. So uh, this, I'll show you what I'm talking about with this. Now, this mod, you go into your um, dealerships, go into Access Mod Dealership. All your ATS trucks are here. Your Freightliner, International, all, all three of the International trucks, both Kenworths, the Mac, the Peterbilt, the Volvo, the Western Star, and then, of course, Viper's truck still works over here. Now, if you go to the dealership, it, it will not show it. You have to go into the mod uh, dealership to get the trucks. They are not active inside the dealership itself. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to kind of change it up a little bit here in ETS 2. Keep left and then turn left. Cause honestly, with you, if there was more of these types of trucks in the game, I would turn this, left. This is what I'd use over here. The trucks like this. And uh, to see out that there is a mod out there that has every truck from ATS that you can bring over here. And it's been updated. It's been updated 1.4.4. So, I love it. Speed limit says it's 30. We'll go ahead and get a thumbnail real quick. Go ahead and get that out of the way. There we go. So 
So guys, I believe that we believe that Montana is very close to coming out. It's just been a lot, a lot of teasing. Uh, just the last like two weeks of a lot of Montana content. So we believe that Montana is pretty close to releasing. Rain moving in. I would say that this is uh, most likely going to be the fault engine sound for these trucks. Um, this is a going to be a bobble engine. And I still think it's a little bit too loud. I don't know what you guys, I, I hope you guys see say the same thing. I'm, I think it's still a little bit loud. Turn it down just a little bit more. Yeah, I think I, I think that's good right there. Outside, look at the rain and the truck. I'm not sure we had to get on the ferry for this. Um, we don't. Hold on a second, guys. Let me shut this door. I do apologize for the phone ringing. It shouldn't have been.
We got 163 miles to go. So guys, what's going on? Not too much going on. Trying to get videos done. Um, been having a little bit of issue with LS VDFR again. Not, not a lot. Get, take a little bit more of my time than I wanted, wanted to. But you know, uh, other than that, everything's good. They got it for speed. Ain't raining on us all the way there. Load the window. That's some heavy rain. Heavy rain and fog too. But I want to say to everyone, guys, that subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. Want to subscribe? It helps the channel grow. Um, I do have a full-time job, so you know it's hard for me to get in sometimes and make videos and hang out with everyone. But I enjoy this kind. Of, I enjoy this. I want. I, I would love to see the channel grow. I love to see us. Uh, you know, start making and doing this all the time. You know. But to everyone that you know that's been subscribing, that's been supporting the channel, you know, for everything that's been going on, I do appreciate it, and uh, I hope you to, you continue to support the channel and uh, make things, um, and, and we'll see some awesome stuff together. You know, got plans for some lot of lot of cool games that I'm looking at, some different things. Uh, I always will be playing the normal stuff here, but. Right. And then you know it. Continue straight on. Let's see. Go straight on. That's right. But it's uh, it's great that uh, it is growing. What what, what it has grown. I'm sorry, I can't talk today for some reason. It's awesome to see it grow. Go straight on. That's right.
We can pick it up a little bit. So yeah, we got more things coming. This is a lot of rain. I don't know if I've seen rain this much. Uh, I'm not using a weather mod. It's pretty cool to see the rain like it is right now. Got 79 miles to go. Just kind of being quiet right now, guys. And I do apologize if anyone wanted to see the stream Saturday night. I had some other stuff that came up. So I did not get to stream Saturday night. I'm going to try to do it this Saturday night. If nothing else happens. Let's see, do we got a turn up here? Go straight on. That's right. No. So I'm going to show you the options. Pretty much all the options are here for the trucks. Uh, cause these are default right. trucks for ATS, then, for you ATS. Continue straight on. but I will show you the options when we get done. There's a few things that I've noticed and I'm not sure if it's with, it, with all trucks, right. but I noticed on this Volvo, there's uh, one or two things that was not there that is in ATS on the default version of the truck. So, which is okay. I mean, it's not a, not a great, it's not a, you know, deal breaker or anything like that.
We're about 11 miles out. This is actually something that I wish SCS would do is actually have these trucks in this game. That way, if you want the option, you know, to use ATS trucks, over here you have that option. If you don't want it, you know, you don't have to use it, but I'm glad there is modders out there that does make these trucks for ETS 2. Said we were speeding. Keep left and then turn left. So let's see what they want. It. Excuse me. All right, there we go. Get unloaded. So we drove exit. We drove 216 miles. It took us five hours and 28 minutes to get here. We consumed 112.5 gallons of fuel. Let's see.
Alright guys, so we're rock and roll. going to show you the, the, um, the customization for these trucks. Like I said, you go into your um, My Dealership. We're going we're gonna to go to Volvo because that's the one we're using. Use this one here. So pretty much everything is here. You got uh, the three cab options. You got all your chassis options. You got a few engine options. Um, cash is engine packs are over here, so it does work for the truck. So you have uh, all this here works. Uh, transmissions, both your interiors from the default ACS truck. Paints. Now the paint, uh, the, the DLC paint jobs that's in ATS are not here for the truck so you won't get the um this is all you get so your customization for these trucks is pretty much the same the only thing that i've noticed about the truck is it doesn't it doesn't give you the the fact to put a rat back here and i don't know if that's on all of them because it used to it would give you the option back here and it would remove the exhaust pipe so we'll look real quick at another one and see let's try the uh, peterbilt and just see if it gives you that option. I, um, you see, it gives you no option in the back back here. We'll go ahead and do this. But that that's the only thing I see that's different about these trucks. It doesn't give you the option for that. You put your lights up there. Yeah. Everything's the same. I, I don't really like that either. You wrap the whole truck in lights. That would look good at, at Christmas. But you know, this time of year, no. Um I wouldn't I wouldn't want that. So and remember that these trucks do not show up in your regular dealership. You have to go to your mod dealership to to see these trucks. Access my dealership, which you would have to do to get them because they do not show up. So, anyways, um, just want to say, just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing, and um, have a good night.